Welcome back to Deck Hockey Focus's continued coverage of the Clash of the Titans. We're going to head back up north with another interview here today. We've got a reoccurring guest. We do. Somewhat of a local legend around <laughs> here in the Quad Cities. We've seen him at our summer tournament. Shaq, who do we have? Uh, we have Mitch Scott uh, playing with the Barry Flyers. Mitch, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, guys. Thanks a lot for having me on. Absolutely. Oh, we love it. We haven't seen you since you came down here and taught us all how to play. <laughs> Your fancy air-conditioned studio that you had down there. Oh, the Landjet, the LJ. <laughs> <laughs> well, today we are uh, we're we're in base. the lovely basement, home <laughs> base here. Um, but you guys are off to a pretty hot start here. And as sort of the knockout rounds begin, um, run people through some of the games that you've had. You've had some real close, tight matches as well as everybody throughout the entire tournament, That's I would say. What were you saying? Theme. 12 or 11 uh, uh, ties. To ties. Run. Yep. So you've kind of had... It's kind of the tail two tapes started out with a sh really strong game against Midnight Express, obviously mm -hmm. a strong team. Um, kind of a uh, goals galore here against uh, Hayes uh, with a 6-9 loss, and then a tough battle to round it out. So kind of uh, what's occurred uh, certain yesterday and through today, and what are you going to do to build uh, for tonight's game? Yeah, it, you know, it's, it's funny. We have such a good team, but there's just, I don't know, we have like, it's almost like two completely different teams at different points in time. Uh, it's uh, this is my second time playing with the Barry Flyers. I was with them down in Pittsburgh, but uh, still they're getting used to some of these guys. Um, but uh, it's like they can absolutely dominate any team. We we played uh, midnight in our first game, and I mean that was a blast. Everyone was nervous going into that one because obviously Midnight Express they won this tournament three years in a row. Mm -hmm, um, sure. They were going to have a really strong roster. So when, uh, when we basically game plan to have like a defense first mentality against them and it worked. I mean, we got out, uh, we got the first goal against them and uh, we just battled with them hard. We played awesome in the first, terrible in the second and that got them back into the game. They scored two to tie it up. And then uh, it was just back and forth in the third, and, and we played unbelievable and just shut the door, and we were able to, to muster a tie. And, you know, we'll take that against midnight any day of the week just because they're so strong. And then um, this morning, everyone thought that Hamilton Hayes was going to be kind of like a walk-through game just because they were kind of thrown together last minute. But, uh, man, they somehow picked up a bunch of guys from Montreal who play for Red Light, Montreal GK, and Team Canada three-on-three. And they're unbelievable. They're just such a skilled, fast team. They got up early in the first on us. I think it was 4 nothing. We ended up coming back and making it 5-4. And uh, they got um, they got a couple power play goals on us. And that just kind of deflated everything. And, and the guys were, you know, the ref was in our heads. And, and everyone was just kind of losing their heads a little bit. But, uh, um, you know, we'll put that game behind us. And then we came out absolutely flying against North York, they might have had 10 shots against us all game, and, and we control the play for, for a good portion of um, of that game. So we have Orange Toronto Orangemen at uh, 9.15, and you know, I think everyone's pretty pretty pumped up for that. We saw what we can do playing against a team of similar caliber like North York today. So it's going to be it's gonna be a great battle tonight, and, and hopefully we can win and take it into tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the Orange Men, you're going to have to ramp up for that game because they're playing really, uh, really well right now too. Absolutely. With a, a tight, two tight games, one win, one loss. Yeah. They're a great defensive team. They're a great defensive team. They're a defense first team, and whenever you play those guys, doesn't matter how how few goals they score during the tournament, they're you know they're just going to try to control everything to in the middle and uh, make us play on the outside. So. Well, definitely. Uh, that's that's a game we'll definitely be watching. Uh, while we're talking about that, I do want to give a huge shout out to Terry Milby mm -hmm. for her Facebook stream. It's been absolutely amazing. It's keeping us connected. So thank you, Terry. Um, but but speaking of this upcoming game, I mean, is there a different mentality that you take into it uh, when you're playing a team like the Orangemen? I mean, we've seen them, um, you know, up against the gods, going to the wire. Uh, as well as the Godfathers, and which coming out with a win, yeah, and coming out with a win against them, and those are two teams that obviously, you know, compete regularly for championships and things. So, have you guys had a chance to maybe uh, survey the scene a little bit and kind of see uh, how you want to approach the game and attack them? Yeah, you know what, we haven't really seen too much of the Orangemen, and they've been a team that uh, you know, they more play like league tournaments 
we don't really see them in a, in or sorry, they more play league games. We don't really see them in tournaments too often. Um, so I'm not like personally, I'm not really sure what to expect. And I was trying to get nervous for those just because I'm unfamiliar with the team. But I mean, I think uh, just knowing what we can do, we can if we control the speed of the game and the tempo. I think really that's our main game plan is just trying to you know, possession as much as possible. Definitely. You want to make them play your game, not to, uh, you adjust to theirs. So uh, best of luck tonight yeah. there. Um, mm, it's definitely do or die. Yeah, I do have a, an additional question <laughs> before we let you go. Um, yeah. We definitely met you in the summer tournament here in Iowa. Right, playing with the Cowboys. Yeah, and uh, you, you took some home. Unbelievable time. Yeah, and you took home a lot of our money. So my question is, what did you guys do with it? Yeah, what would you spend <laughs> it on? Well... I'm sure there will be a couple of the guys who are serving our goalie behind the net would like to hear he went and bought as many cheeseburgers as possible after the game. <laughs> You're so kidding me. spent his money on. No, I'm kidding. He didn't actually. <laughs> <laughs> he was getting an earful here in the game from the guys. Hey, how many cheeseburgers can you eat? <laughs> and he said, you know how many cheeseburgers 5,000 American will buy me in Canada? <laughs> 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 That's awesome. But, uh, I mean, for, for me, I, I, I don't even remember what I did with the money. It was probably spent on something ridiculous. But uh, it was just, it was really nice to have. It was, it was it made the whole trip completely worth it. And, uh, I mean, even if we didn't win the money, man, it was, so, it was so worth it. And for any teams listening who are even pondering coming, just go. Make the 12-hour drive to Iowa. It's completely worth it. It's better than any tournament that we have in Canada. That's fantastic, man. And that we is unsolicited uh, marketing right there. No, That's, uh, I mean, literally the environment <laughs> for everybody. It's not even just these top-level teams. If we got guys out there that are, you know, looking for second and third tier, um, you know, a little bit of beer drinking on the side and a, a bunch of cheeseburgers, apparently. <laughs> um <laughs> it's just a great, it's just a great environment, you know, top to bottom and things like that. But we do love seeing you guys come down and, you know, deep down we are rooting for you. We love the out of town guys that, that show up and make the trip, you know, it just makes it the makes whole it. North American hockey culture a little bit smaller. Absolutely. Look at, uh, well, we, we appreciate it. We really appreciate the support of everyone that came up to us. I mean, we had, uh, um, a, a dad come up with it himself and his two young kids asking if they could wear you know one of our other jerseys during the final game and, you know we're really rooting for you and i mean that that felt incredible because I mean, we've, we've never been down to, to that door um you know iowa before and, and you know they don't they don't know us at all we don't know them so it just feels you know, completely welcome and um i mean it was, it was it was an absolutely incredible experience having people cheer for us um over the decade but it, it, was, it was fantastic well, we're glad that you guys had a good time, but you had mentioned to us that you guys were looking to do uh, maybe a couple of other tournaments moving forward as well. So can you tell people about maybe what's to expect for, uh, I guess, I don't know if you guys will be Scott personally. <laughs> flying the banner of the Cowboys or who you'll be playing under, but what's in the future? Yeah, well, uh, I mean, the Cowboys, we've, we really enjoy the three-on-three and four-on-four game. It's... Uh, I think it's more the style that, that we would like to play moving forward. And we have a big WBHF tournament, like we were saying last time I was on. We play, most of us play for Team Great Britain, um, the heritage team in the WBHF, and we're going to Finland in, uh, in November of 2020. So we'd like to get in as many, uh, you know, three or four on four times. Um, we just came back from 13 Caicos, played an awesome four on four event down there. Um, what a place to, to play ball hockey, I'll tell you. Um, but uh, yeah, moving forward this year, I think we're we'll be in Montreal. We'll be at a couple of the Burroughs events, getting ready. So um, it'll uh, it'll be a lot of fun. I'm not sure how many five on five events we'll, we'll be doing this year. Well, good. We'll focus on the five on five uh, now because it's uh, <laughs> you got a big game coming up here, and it's getting down Absolutely. to the wire. So you know we're, we're you got the whole state of Iowa behind you right now. <laughs> I'll speak for everybody in the Quad <laughs> Cities. We can do that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, man, but uh, good luck tonight. It was great catching up with you again, and obviously look forward to seeing you next July. Awesome, boys. Thanks so much. We'll see you then. Good luck tonight. All right, thank you.